What's up guys, Simone Fan 101 here, and here's my review of Battleground. Um, it's nighttime, so I want to keep the volume, you know, low-key. Uh, and for some reason, I'm looking at the quality. It looks particularly better and a lot faster. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, this is my Battleground review. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good show, if not a great show. Uh, I'll figure out the ratings um, tomorrow, as well as the ratings for Ultima Lucha Dos. Um, again, you want the ratings, check it out in the description box below. So let's just get to it. Uh, opening, opening the show actually kind of surprised me. The opener of the show was Charlotte and Dana Brooke versus Sasha Banks and her mystery partner. Turned out, her mystery partner was a one-off main roster appearance for Bailey, that's right. Bailey made her first main roster appearance in WWE. Now, this is not this was not a permanent move. Bailey, this was a one-off appearance um, that Bailey would make on the main roster, and she would basically just go straight back down to NXT. And um, which actually does kind of and JBL did say, according to my sources, this will be a one-off um, appearance for Bailey. Which does beg the question: How did J did JBL like? How did JBL know that Bailey was the mystery partner? It kayfabe, of course. Um. But yeah, overall, I thought it was a, a good, a decent match. It was a, it, it was a, it there was a, a may, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I hate when I do that. Bailey did a few moves, um, that were you know that were exciting. Of, of course, one of them being <laughs> that. Um, elbow, like jumping elbow to the corner where she does the, ah. seriously, what the hell? Um, um, and, uh, Sasha Banks won, Bailey and Sasha won the match after Sasha hit Charlotte with the backstabber into the bank statement there and thus setting up a legit match at SummerSlam between Sasha Banks and Charlotte. Now, and, and it, as far as the match goes, it was a decently good match. I'm not quite sure about the rating, but again, it was a decent. It was a decent match, at least. Um, the next match was the tag, the six man tag team match between the Wyatt family, consisting of Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, who is now on Raw, <clears throat> and Eric Rowan, Rowan and Wyatt, who are on SmackDown, against the New Day, who are on Raw. Um, as far I thought this was a good match, honest. And I heard a, there was a comment I saw online saying um, y y something along the lines of this could have been as good as the uh, as if the if it was the white incarnation from a couple years ago. My answer was screw that. If this was the New Day versus Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan, that match would have been fucking awesome. I look at look at the White family versus the Shield. And the matches they had. Those were some amazing matches. So yeah. Those were really, you know, great, amazing matches. So, um I, I cannot compare it to that. I, I can't. Um but as far as the match itself goes, I thought it was a good match. Um I did like the interplay between I think my favorite part of the match was the interplay between Xavier Woods and Bray Wyatt. Those two matches were no, those two matches. Those two guys, I know if given like a good 10 to 15 minute singles match, they could knock it out of the park. I mean, those are two guys that I would predict have a great match. And I've seen Xavier Woods work in TNA when he was in the X Division. He had some pretty darn, darn good matches, especially those with Petey Williams. Um, another... Uh, and, and one other thing I want to bring up with this match is Biggie's spear through the ropes. Now, there are some people who worry about Biggie's spear through the ropes will cause him to have severe injuries later on down his career, um, permanent, like permanent side effects of the injuries. However, this is and what happened was here here specifically, Biggie hit, I believe Eric Rowan through the ropes. But what happened? Was, it looked like when he was going through the ropes and when he was trying to land on the floor, it looks like he landed on his head. So that was a little bit because he held his head um, immediately after he landed. So that was a little bit scary. <clears throat> Other than that, though, 
Um, this was just a, this was a good match. I. I, I kind of get why the Wyatt family won. I mean, the New Day are the tag team champions, and Bray Wyatt is um, was the one that got the pinfall. Therefore, you know, he's going to SmackDown, give him a little bit of momentum going into the brand split. Makes sense. I don't know about Eric Rowan. And Braun Strowman will... I am not looking forward to the inevitable Roman Reigns-Braun Strowman feud. I will not be a happy camper. The next match... I'm going up pure memory here, guys. So if I miss anything, blame me for it. The next match, I believe, was the U.S. title match between Rusev and Zack Ryder. The match actually was not bad. It was not that bad of a match. Uh, was, it the, was it the best match of the card? Definitely not. Especially what happened afterward. But it was definitely not the worst match of the card. Um, here's, I will say this, Rusev looks dominant. He has, he's, I know he's certainly having a lot of fun with the title reign. He looks dominant and that's good for him. There's just one problem though. He beat Zack Ryder. It's not like he beat Samoa Joe or something. No, he beat Zack Ryder. So that's not a big accomplishment. Now, granted, they, Zack Ryder's been getting better in terms of the booking since WrestleMania this year. Um, but, uh, just slightly. But, you know, still, he's still got that aura of, you know, job guy for four years. So, just got to keep building him up. Just keep keep going with him and see if he does something. Um, so, Rusev beat Zack Ryder after a good match. Uh, I will say this, though. The finish kind of got what's kind of um, iffy not the accolade part but immediately before it when Zack Ryder hit the Rough Rider he went up for the elbow and Rusev immediately blocked it um with it with the double knees uh, now simple now it was simple he lifted up with the double knees but then again it's like wait a minute that's the guy's finisher why would you immediately have, it's not like he hit the Rough Rider and 30 seconds later he hit the elbow no, he hit the Rough Rider. Um, he hit the Rough Rider, uh, and then immediately went for the elbow. In kayfabe standards, he would have won the match because Rusev would have been down. Kayfabe. Um, but yeah, that. So yeah, Rusev won. Uh, b better decision for him. Um, th there because you know Zack Ryder's a SmackDown guy. <sighs> Rusev is a Raw guy keep the u.s title in raw um but but um rusev was gonna give zack Ryder a post-match beatdown oh hold on. he was gonna give zack Ryder a post-match beatdown if it wasn't for the official main roster debut of um the hype bros partner and zack Ryder's partner mojo raleigh Which I know he, it was probably a lot of fun for him, but the crowd did not could not care less. It's not that they didn't. Lo it's not that they didn't like Mojo. The crowd just didn't really care. Um, so yeah, there was that. Mo, mahaba, 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 mahaba. We should now. Sorry guys, I'm recording this at like nine thirty, so I might be a little tired, and I only got four hours of sleep last night. My fault. But, um, but what, but my little shtick was that, you know, nobody just cared about Mojo. But Rusev walked away like a, and, you know, didn't exactly do anything to Mojo. So at least Mojo didn't look weak. Um, the next match, however, this match was, if, if my memory serves me correct, by far, match of the night. It was uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. This match, at least on the main roster, is a potential match of the year candidate. This match kicked all kinds of ass. This match was awesome. This match was absolutely awesome. A lot like the final battle match in 2010. The Ring of Honor pay-per-view final battle 2010. Um, 
it was to settle a long-standing feud between the two of one friend turning on his turning on his partner or his friend or his friend or whatever and after a long time of taking all this shit you know he finally gets his revenge on Kevin on his partner in both in both Ring of Honor and WWE it was the same Kevin Owens or Kevin Steen slash Kevin Owens turned on El Generico slash Sami Zayn after a major match. In in Ring of Honor, it was the Final Battle 2009 match between Steen and Generico against the Young Bucks. Uh, they lost, and Steen immediately and I believe Steen hit El Generico with a steel chair in the head, effectively ending the friendship tag team and turning Steen heel. Um, in WWE, ironically enough, it was in the same month, um, the same, uh, this December of 2014, when Kevin Owens, um, made his debut at NXT TakeOver, um, Our Evolution, and, uh, and Sami Zayn in the main event had just beaten Neville. In what was by far the NXT match of the year, and not by well, not by far, but definitely the NXT match of the year, Neville's best match that I've seen, and um, Kevin Owens came out along with the rest of the roster to celebrate with him. And right when the the pay per view or show was about to leave, Kevin Owens attacks Sami Zayn and power bombs him on the ring apron. So this was a long standing feud between both guys in both companies. And the final match ended up the same way. The feud, for the most part, ended up the same way. Um, Kevin Owens or Kevin Steen would win every single match up until that last fateful, like, real, like the clenching match, real defining match. He would win every match. In WWE, in the main roster, WWE, NXT, whatever, he did the same thing. He beat he beat Zayn at uh, at Takeover Rival. He beat him at. Um, that other takeover show—I forget what it was called. Was it? No, it wasn't the end. It was last. What was the last year's show called? It was not respect. Um, that other takeover show—the one Sami Zayn worked hurt. Uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens faced off. They he, Zayn lost at WrestleMania. Technically, Owens did too. Um, Zayn. Lost to Kevin Owens in a singles match at Payback. He lo- along with along with Owens lost in both the Extreme Rules, um, not the Extreme Rules, but both in the Fatal Four Way Intercontinental Title match and the Money in the Bank title, Money in the Bank ladder match. And this was the kind of the feud ender, at least hopefully. Um, and the match, I, I can't go into real many specifics except for one, a couple of spots. But the match was absolutely fantastic. There was this one spot. Where Sami Zayn looked like he was going for the um, uh, a springboard, a springboard moonsault outside the ring, but what? But from the looks of it, he he kind of spring the, when he tried to springboard off the rope, he did it wrong. At least it looks like he did it wrong, and then landed straight on his on his right arm. He so, kind of hit Owens, but not really. But I would think this was a major botch. The problem is that immediately afterwards, Owens took Zayn's right arm and then hit it twice, swinging it against the against the pole and uh, on the, in the corner of the ring. Twice. So it's like, was it a work? Uh, not work, but was it you know a botch? Was it you know meant to happen, or was it kind of, or was or was it a botch that? Owens and Zayn decided on the fly to make it a part of the match. Because there were a few spots where Owens would work on the arm. Not too not too badly, but you can but if I had to guess, it was a botch and they just ran with it. Honestly, in my opinion, with the exception of the actual botch itself, the working of the arm, whenever they did do it, did kind of make the match feel a little better. Um the best part of the match was the ending when Sami Zayn fi- countered Kevin Owens because I think Kevin Owens was going for another pop-up power bomb. But what happened was 
Owens. Um, Owens instead ran into the Explo- Exploder Suplex. Then he ran into that, like a, uh, that other kind of suplex. I forget it's called. It's the one where he constantly lands on his head because he's so big for Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn hit the Haluva kick, um, but Owens landed on Zayn almost like begging for mercy, like please end it. <clears throat> and Zayn looked like he was about to show compassion, but then he put Owens on the ring. In the, the ring corner, gave him another Huluva kick, and one, two, three, Sami Zayn won the match. Match of the year so f- well, maybe one of the matches of the year so far. It's still got to contend with with uh, Styles and Styles and uh, Cena at Money in the Bank, and Rollins and Reigns also at Money in the Bank. But this is definitely one of the matches of the year, and I recommend it completely. If you haven't seen this, if you have not seen this match. You need to see it. It's absolutely awesome. The botch looked ugly. But other than that, it was a great match. The next match, if I recall, is Becky Lynch versus Natalia. Now, the fact that this got higher on the card than the Women's Championship actually gives me a little bit of hope for SmackDown. This and the ending of the show. Um, so, they basically had a back-and-forth match. An Italian acting heel working over the left knee of Becky Lynch. What do I think of it? I thought this was a pretty good match. I thought it was a better match than it was. It was a better match than um, than the t- 